Hello viewers, welcome back to another section of my tutorial. In this video, we are going to solve surface area of quadratic surfaces problems. So we've solved about four or five in our previous videos. So we still continue in this video and we'll proceed to solve more in our future videos. Kindly subscribe and like and share so that you get notified when I also post videos on this channel. So determine the surface area of the part of this is the function z equals x y that lies in the cylinder given by x squared plus y squared equals 1. So I have z is equal to x y, right? Then I have the cylinder x squared plus y squared equals 1. So this is going to give me my limits or this is the region or the boundaries and this is the function itself. So we realize that x which is surface area is equal to the double integral of the square root of fx squared plus fy squared plus 1 dA. And at this point, you are going to find your fx, which is equal to here. With respect to x, you are going to get y. With respect to y, you are going to get x. So meaning you get a square root of x squared plus y squared plus 1, right? Yes. I'll put this down. The next thing to do is to find my limit. This is a cylinder, right? So in a cylinder, you are going to have this expression replaced by r squared is equal to 1. Meaning we can compute this using the polar coordinates. So r squared equals 1, meaning our radius spans from 0 to what? 1, right? Yeah. Then at this point, I'm going to find my theta. My theta will simply be from 0 to what? 2 pi. Because it's a cylinder. Then to convert this to polar coordinates, you know x squared plus y squared equals what r squared. I'm going to have square root of r squared plus 1. I'll have double integral 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1. Square root of r squared plus 1 r dr d theta. So at this point, I'm going to have this here. I'm going to integrate. So it's true substitution. So our u will be what r squared plus 1 the u over the r is simply 2r therefore the r is equal to 1 over 2r du like this so i'm going to have integral 0 to 2 pi 0 to 1 root of u r all over 2r du d theta right now all the r is now u so this will cancel this so that i get integral 0 to 2 pi then integral 0 to 1 I have u to the power half over 2 du d theta. So if I'm to compute this further, you realize I'll add 1 to this. So I'm going to have integral 0 to 2 pi. When I add 1, 3 over 2, so 2 over 3 multiplying 1 over 2 here, then u to the power 3 over 2, 0 to 1 d theta for the external. This will cancel this. Right, so I'm going to get 1 over 3 u to the power 3 over 2, 0 to 1, the theta. When I put 1, I'm going to get 1 over 3. When I put 0, everything will be 0. So I'm going to get integral 0 to 2 pi, then 1 over 3, the theta. This is going to give me 1 over 3 theta, 0 to 2 pi, giving me 2 pi over 3 as the solution for our surface area thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe since i will post more tutorials on multivariable calculus